everyone at home. And, and this is Miss Matus. And I'm very glad to see you here uh, by this communication. I really enjoy this time together. And this is an extension of my classroom. Do you remember the, um, the school? Well, we are safe now at home, so we are going to continue working in this way. And, well, this is our uh, classroom too, our school. Remember the school, we have time together. We have many activities to do. We have enjoying time every day. So, um, I'd like you to, I'd like to, to represent our daily routines at classroom by this way. Putting some dinosaurs. This is a calendar made by me. Here we have the weathers. Here we have uh, Kelly, Jimmy. Here we have our friend Dino. Uh, well, we got the music, the music class too. And well, lots of activities, including in this area. So let's start by asking you a question. How do you feel today? How are you? Today, let's play a song as every day and let's wait for your uh, answer. So wait for me, let's start playing the, playing the song. Are you ready? We are going to Track start clapping. Two. Remember? Song. I clap and say good morning. <laughs> Clap with me at home. I, I clap, clap and say good morning, good morning, good morning. I clap and say good morning. And how are you today? I nod and say I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I nod and say I'm fine, I'm feeling fine today. So let's continue asking you some questions about your emotions and feelings. Let's see this example. How do you how do you feeling today? Are you feeling scared? Maybe. Or do you feel angry? Or maybe you're feeling sad. But I don't think so. I think you are great. You are happy. Show me your teeth smiling. Miss Matus is very happy enjoying this time together. And let's continue asking you about the month of the year. Look. Here we have the month of the year. This is April, April, repeat at home, April. And we have the days of the week, repeat after me. And you must know it, I know you know it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so, after that, we have numbers, Number, numbers here, and we are in Monday, actually, today is 20, the number 20. I'm going to point the, the date, today is April 20, 2020. So let's continue working with the weather as always. Look, how's the weather like today outside? Is it rainy? Look through the window. No, it's not raining. Or maybe, do you think it's snowy? It's really cold outside. 
<clears throat> well, I don't think so. I don't think it's cold outside. It's not mm -hmm. snowy today. <clears throat> or maybe you notice some wind. Outside is windy. Do you think it's windy today? Yes? I don't think so. I don't think it's windy. Today, I think it's a beautiful sunny day. It's a sunny day, right? So what are we going to wear today? Umbrella? Rain boots? Raincoats? Well, I don't think so. In a sunny day, we don't need it. Or maybe hat, the scarf, pants, and a beautiful jacket. Well, I don't think so. Today, as we said, it's sunny. Sunny, look. The sunglasses. She's wearing sandals because it's very hot. Today, we're enjoying this time together. And the time... Uh, let's start practicing now the things that we are going to do today. For you, and you have a presentation of the topic, we are going to introduce the activities today. Let's take out the calendar for a moment. And let's, let's put the activities today we are going to work with. Today, we are going to start telling you a story. Miss Matus will read you a story. Do you like stories? I'm sure you like it. After that, we are going to listen the tape recorder and we are going to listen the a story. After that, we are going to play a, 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 with the topic, but this is a surprise. I'm not going to mention the, the part, but this is a, a game, right? After that, we are going to continue with the same topic. Then we have a beautiful activity that I made for you. And at the end, we are going to play with a video. Reproduce a video and start uh, working with this part. Well, the story. Story. <laughs> This is our story today. Could you help me to read the title? Going to the supermarket. Oh, wow, well, we have different things at the supermarket. What can you see here in the picture? What do you think they are doing? We have lots of people, isn't it? We have cars, different uh, food, different articles in the supermarket. We have cards, families. Would you like that I open the story? Yes. Here we go. Let's start with the, page, the first page. We have a father with his son. And they are looking a um, picture. Oh, it's the healthy plate. But we are going to talk about this later. Hey, Dad, what's that? I asked. It's a healthy food plate. 
We need to eat healthy food to keep our bodies healthy. That says. We turn the page and we have a boy but in a different place. Dad, what what fruits do you need? I ask. We need pineapple, watermelon, and papaya. That is said. I help my dad put the fruit in the cart. I like pineapple. My dad doesn't like pineapple. He likes watermelon. Then we are going to turn the page. And let's continue looking through the story. Wow, look at those healthy vegetables. My dad put carrots, tomatoes, and peas, and onions in the cart. Don't forget the broccoli, Dad. It's my favorite, I said. What else do we need? I ask. We need chicken, fish, meat, and eggs. They give us protein to help us grow healthy and very strong. That says, I like to eat eggs for breakfast and chicken for dinner. I can see the milk. Milk comes from cows. Butter, cheese, and yogurt come from milk too. We need yogurt and cheese. Daddy said, let's get some pear yogurt. I love pears, I say. Now, we get cereal and bread. It's time to go to the checkout. That says, look, Dad, mine cookies. Can we get some, I ask. Okay, but just a small box of three, says Dad. Hooray! Now we almost finished the story. We have different vocabulary at the end of this story and you have to identify them through the story. What do you think is the number one? It's something that we can eat. It comes from animal product. Meat. Repeat. Meat. What do we have in number two? What do you think? I think it comes from cereal. Bread. Bread. What about in number three? What do you think? It's a fruit, right? Mm, it's delicious. It's green outside, inside is white and red with black seeds. Guess, try to guess. Think about this fruit. Yes, you guess, it's watermelon, watermelon. What about number four? Look, the texture, it's a fruit too. It's yellow and green. Yes, you guess. It's pineapple. Pineapple. What about your number five? We have a vegetable in number five. Potato. Potato. And the last is number six. What do we have in number six? Oh, we have three eyes. Maybe it's an animal. Yes, you guess it's an animal product too. It's a fish, fish. 
and those products are healthy for our body. Now, let's reproduce the track about the supermarket. Listen carefully because this is important information and try to follow this story. Technical problems. We're Track eight. Informative reader. I like to go to school. Going to the supermarket. Dad, what's that? I ask. It's a healthy food plate. We need to eat healthy food to keep our bodies healthy. Dad says. Dad, what fruits do we need? I ask. We need pineapple, watermelon, and papaya. Dad says, I help my dad put the fruit in the cart. I like pineapple. My dad doesn't like pineapple. He likes watermelon. Wow, look at all the healthy vegetables. My dad puts carrots, tomatoes, peas, and onions in the cart. Don't forget the broccoli, Dad. It's my favorite, I say. What else do we need? I ask. We need chicken, fish, meat, and eggs. They give us protein to help us grow healthy and strong. Dad says, I like to eat eggs for breakfast and chicken for dinner. I can see the milk. Milk comes from cows. Butter, cheese, and yogurt come from milk too. We eat yogurt and cheese, Dad says. Let's get some pear yogurt. I love pears, I say. Now we get cereal and bread. It's time to go to the checkout, Dad says. Look, Dad, mint cookies. Can we get some? I ask. Okay but just a small box for a treat, says Dad. Hooray! Okay, what else do we need? Let's continue. You listen to the story. Now we are going to play with the... Uh, main topic of today. In this part, we are going to use this page in this story to start our activities, right? We are going to pay attention here in this part. What does this story say? He talks about, he talks about the fruits, right? He, they notice the first one is papaya, papaya. This is what you have learned today, papaya. What else? Pineapple. This 
the next fruit is melon. And the last is watermelon. Now, I have a surprise for you. Do you like surprises? Yes, I know. Dino. Dino brought me a bag. He brought this bag and he carries surprises for you in this morning. We are going to open, look at my bag. Here we have Jimmy, Kelly, and Dino. If we open, we are going to do a beautiful activity, right? I'm going to take out certain things and objects, maybe, and you have to guess. Under this, uh, well, blanket, you are going to guess, right? The first is this object. Of course, it's about the fruits. Remember? It's round. What do you think is that? Pineapple? No, pineapple is bigger, right? Yes, you guessed. Mm, it is delicious. It's sweet. It's an apple. It's an apple. The next one. You know this fruit very, very, very good. I noticed that mommies put it in your lunch every day. Yes, you guess. It's a banana. Another fruit. What do you think? It's bigger than the apple, but it's round too. Mmm, delicious. Is it a pineapple? A watermelon? A papaya? A melon? Yes, you guess. It's a melon. Then, what else do we have? Oh, it's a round too, but it's a small. It's the smallest, I think. It's a green, or oh, sometimes it's yellow. It's sour. Yes, you guess, it's a lemon. Now, this fruit. It's kind of oval. Sometimes it's, it's green. It's yellow. Sometimes it's brown. It's sweet. Yes, you get it. It's a pear. Another one. It's a big one. Look. Look. What do you think? It's longer, right? Oi. It has something on it. It's a pineapple. Excellent job. At home. What else do we have? Pay attention in the size. Mmm, it's delicious. I like it. It's one of my favorite. Papaya. Papaya, very good. So, we finish. And we are going to to do an activity. Well, I have watermelon too. 
we are going to observe closer the fruits, right? Could you notice that we have some examples uh, such as the pictures? Do we have papaya? Yes, we have papaya, it's here. Do we have any pineapple? Is it the pineapple? No, it isn't. Pineapple is this one, right? We have melon. Here it is. And we have watermelon. Here we have the watermelon. Now, I'm going to open the papaya to see the seeds. Inside we have seeds. Let's look for them. You have to take care of your uh, security here. Daddy can help you to do this part. Look at the seeds. They are round. They are inside the fruit. We have the melon. We're going to cut the melon using a knife. But remember, you have to do this part with your daddy's help. Here we have the seeds. And we have the watermelon. And what about the seeds? Where are they? We are going to cut the slide and we are going to look for the seeds. here we have the seeds it has less of seed but they are for you to recognize the seeds they are black as I said now if we open a um, apple if we open an apple we can identify the seeds here inside of the fruit. Do you, can you see it? Can you see that? Yes. But also, bananas got seeds inside. Lemon. This is smaller, but it has seeds inside too. We can see them here. Well, we are going to uh, talk about the seeds inside the fruits because they are really important. You have to grow the seeds to obtain the fruit. But we are going to continue working with the same topic, right? What are we going to, to do this? After we take out from the bag the fruit, uh, we, are, we work with the seeds, we, we work about the seeds, and we have, uh, using a, a knife, we make uh, fruit slices. After that, we have a play, as I told you, and this is what are we going to continue with. We are going to taste the food later. Tú dijiste seguir. Okay, now we have here our activity that I prepared for you, and this is a challenge for you. What do you think I'm, I'm having here inside of this box? Remember that we are working with fruits, right? Well, they 
All right. Just shadows of fruits. I'm going to show you the first shadow. What do you think? Which fruit is it? Without color? Yes, you guessed. It's a pineapple. Pineapple. Well, I'm going to put the pineapple over here. Then, what do you think? Is it a lemon? No, it isn't. It is a delicious pear. Then we have a delicious banana. Excellent. Then we have something very, very delicious that I like a lot. It's a it's an apple, right? What else? Look, look the size. Look the size, look the shape. It's sweet with black seeds as I showed you before. As I show you after, sorry. We have another, it's round. Melon, papaya, melon. And what do you think? Yes, it's delicious and one of my favorite. It's a delicious mango. Now we have here the fruits and we are going to match with the shadows, right? Look, what is it? Melon, melon. Here, I don't think so. Here is the melon. Then we have the apple, apple. I'm going to place the apple here, matching pairs. Then we have a small one, the sour one, lemon. It's not the lemon, it's absent. Another one, the pineapple. Is it the pineapple? Yes. Here it is. Is there any papayas? Yes, there it is. Here we have the same shape. I'm going to put it again to follow the shape. Then we have bananas. Here is the banana. There is missing the mango. Is there any watermelon here? No, there isn't. We don't have a watermelon. There is missing the pear. The pear will be here. Now everything is correct. Well, after that, we have another activity to continue our uh, routine or our daily activities. Today we are going to go to the television and watch a video 
that is a game and well you have to guess the fruit just to review the vocabulary and review pronunciation go ahead here we have with the game as i told you you have to come at the internet and start writing this title fruit guessing game for kids play the video Guess the fruit before the time. Look. What do you think? Watermelon, melon, papaya. Bananas, grapes, orange, pineapple, pear, straw. 
strawberry, watermelon, cherry, and star fruit. Congratulations! Excellent, well done! Now we are going to continue working in this part just to finish our activity. This is our book, right? And what do we have? What can we see here in the picture? We have fruits, of course, watermelon, papaya, pineapple, melon. And what do we have here in gray areas? We have here the stickers to put them in the correct place. We are going to start with the melon. Take out the sticker and put it in the correct place. Here? No. Here, melon with melon. Look at those seeds. Then we have here the pineapple. Pineapple, no, yes, here it is. There's, they're missing two. Watermelon, yes, here it is. It match perfectly with the black seeds. And the papaya, that is the last. Excellent. And those faces is for asking you, do, do you like watermelon? If you like, you have to draw a happy face. Do you like papaya? Yes, I like. Oh, no, I don't. Do you like pineapple? Yes, I like pineapple. Oh no, I don't like pineapple. Do you like melon? Yes, I like melon. Oh no, I don't like melon. But I have to tell you that all the fruits are very important to keep your body strong and healthy. Well, now to finish this activity, we are going to I know you are at home those days. So you can work at home by this doing this activity. When you go to the supermarket or your parents uh, ask for a, um, a newspaper or magazines from the supermarket, kind of those, you are going to open those and look for uh, fruits, just fruits. Look. If we open a no uh, magazine, you will find certain pictures. Just focus on the look. Here we have the fruits, the star fruit, kiwis, food. Put the fruits you find in the magazines and we are going to collect them to make a collage, right? The first activity you are going to do today, it's a collage. Collage is put pictures together in the way you like the most. Yes, using all the cutouts, you are going to, to make a collage. In this way, also you can draw with your crayons or markers to make a beautiful drawing. Banana maybe here. I have a plate of fruits over here. Papayas. Here, the mango will be here. You can 
for the fruits as well as you want. Do you see? Maybe doing a, a, a happy face. Do you notice that? Or a heart, making a heart. You can do any shape, any drawing as you want. And I hope you enjoy this activity. And I say goodbye to you. It's a pleasure for me to work together. And greetings for all of you. Kisses for you. Have a nice day. Bye.